Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Today we've got some fascinating research out of the University of Texas from this gentleman, Dr. Stefano Tiziani, who has published an article in a peer-reviewed science journal that looked at a powerful combination of plant-based nutrients, what are sometimes called phytochemicals. And he found that this combination was so potent that it was able to kill prostate cancer cells without causing any damage whatsoever to healthy cells. It's kind of like the holy grail of halting prostate cancer, and this is precisely the kind of information that you get from natural news, but you won't get in the mainstream media because, of course, they're run by the pharmaceutical industry, and they make money off of cancer and oncology and chemotherapy. They don't want you to know that you don't have to get sick to treat cancer. You don't have to have your hair fall out. You don't have to be nauseous and vomit. You don't have to lose muscle mass. You can fight cancer with anti-cancer foods. And now some scientists like uh, Dr. Tiziani here are putting this together. So let's talk about what, what substances those are because you'd be just astonished. To find these answers, Dr. Tiziani and his colleagues looked at the anti-cancer potential for perhaps a hundred different phytochemicals. And what they found is that just a few key nutrients when consumed in combination are a very potent anti-cancer medicine. And those nutrients are, number one, Ursolic acid, which is found in apple peels, right? Apple peel, ursolic acid, that's one of them. Uh, curcumin, which is found in turmeric root. It's one of the main constituents, but not the only one. There are others, they're called curcuminoids. Um, resveratrol, a third one. 
This is another natural compound that's of course found in red grapes and certain berries and sometimes grape leaves as well. So these three anti-cancer nutrients were so powerful. I mean, he tested, here it is, over 142 natural compounds on mouse cell lines, cancer cell lines, to see what effects they would have. And it was the combination of these three potent phytochemicals that caused the prostate cancer cells to vanish. They were completely destroyed. Dr. Tiziani says these nutrients have potential anti-cancer properties that are readily available. We only need to increase concentrations beyond levels found in a healthy diet for an effect on prostate cancer cells. I mean, wow, this is, this is amazing news that, that academia is now saying the same thing that I've been reporting to you for years from Natural News. I mean, think about it. Here's a researcher at the University of Texas now documenting the potent anti-cancer effects of common food substances that you can buy at the grocery store. You can juice apples and turmeric and red grapes and even a little bit of ginger. And if you drink that juice, according to his research, that is a potent anti-cancer, anti-prostate cancer nutrient combo. And it probably works, although that wasn't the focus of this research, it probably works for other types of cancers as well. Although it would be great to have more research done to really prove that, and document it. And yet we still have a mainstream media, oh, fake news media, you know, New York Times, USA Today, CNN, whatever, that says there's no such thing as an anti-cancer food. <laughs> what are they living in the 1970s? We still have the FDA that insists there's no such thing as any food or herb or supplement that can prevent, treat, or cure any type of cancer whatsoever. Or are they from another dimension? What, did they lose their minds? How, how do they not know all this research? Because this study that I'm showing you right here, and here it is, here's the journal. The title is uh, Combinatorial Treatment with Natural Compounds in Prostate Cancer Inhibits Prostate Tumor Growth and Leads to Key Modulations of Cancer Cell Metabolism. This research is just one of tens of thousands of science papers that document the anti-cancer or anti-diabetes or anti-heart disease effects of common foods, herbs, supplements, extracts, everything from turmeric to ginger to garlic to green tea, you name it. Even common fruits like apples are anti-cancer. Oranges are anti-cancer, celery is anti-cancer, beetroot is anti-cancer, on and on. And yet we still live in a society where the FDA will throw you in jail. If you say that, if you speak the truth, about a product that you're selling. If you sell turmeric and you say this contains curcumin that might help prevent cancer, let's say, for this product, this bottle, they'll throw you in jail. They'll arrest you. They'll seize your entire operation and throw you in jail because they have to protect the monopoly of the pharmaceutical industry. And they can't allow individuals to heal themselves using foods from the grocery store. That is the last thing they want to allow the public to be able to do. They know that if you can heal yourself using the power of natural foods and groceries and, and roots and superfoods, then you don't need their oncology treatment centers. You don't need to don a pink ribbon and run around in circles raising money for the so-called cure for cancer. The cure for cancer is in the grocery store, folks. It's right there. It's in the produce section. And it's not just one cure for cancer. It is dozens of different cures for different types of cancers. Everybody in America has access right now to cancer cures. Everybody. It's just that the media and the FDA and the FTC and the CDC and the, the pharmaceutical interests, they keep trying to separate you from the cures that are right there at your grocery store. They don't want you to know the truth that you can kill prostate cancer cells in your own body by eating, you know, apple peels and turmeric root and uh, resveratrol. It's, it's right here in the research. They don't want you to know that you can halt breast cancer. They don't want you to know that you can halt brain cancer or leukemia or colorectal cancer. They don't want you to know. And so they try to silence and suppress, you know, voices like this, natural news. We're the ones who have been putting out for over 15 years now the truth about natural healing foods. And we stand on the shoulders of others before us who put that information out there and dared to tell the truth. Like, uh, like 
the juice man, you know, God rest his soul. He passed recently, Jay Cordich, the juice man. He was out there in the 1980s and 1990s teaching people to juice, saving lives. And, you know, he, he leaves this world with the incredible good karma and divinity that comes from being a person who taught others how to save their lives and prevent disease and tap into the natural power of, of Mother Nature's medicines, which are all right there in the produce section. And the carrots and parsley, apples and pears. It's all natural medicine. It's, it's scientifically validated anti-cancer medicine. You don't need chemotherapy to cure cancer. You don't need radiation. You don't need surgery in, in nearly every case. Those so-called treatments are mostly cons. They make you sick. They make the cancer come back. The number one side effect of chemotherapy is more cancer. That's why cancer always returns after chemotherapy. You want to beat cancer? Turn to the real science of anti-cancer nutrients and foods and superfoods. Uh, that's what uh, Dr. Tiziati here is doing at the University of Texas, and he's just one of thousands of researchers that are looking into this. Uh, it's just amazing. Maybe you didn't hear about this because, you know, Washington Post isn't going to write about it. They're going to write about the miracle of uh, some new drug from the pharmaceutical industry, or they're going to write about why you should be eating more GMOs or consuming more toxic weed killer herbicide in your food because that's, that's what they're paid to do. They're all prostitutes and shills. If you pursue an anti-cancer lifestyle every day in what you eat and drink and what you avoid, you know, avoiding the toxic chemicals, then you're not in a, a risk category for cancer because cancer doesn't happen by chance. It happens by cause and effect. If you eliminate the cause, you avoid the effect, you avoid the disease. And if you eat anti-cancer foods like we're looking at in this research, then you start killing the cancer cells in your body without the toxicity of chemotherapy, without the high price of, uh, you know, oncology centers and all their con artistry and the quacks that are operating in the cancer industry, scaring women into surgery they don't need, false positive diagnoses to scare you into chemotherapy when you don't even have cancer, all the felons and crooks and con artists in the cancer industry, it's replete with dishonest, unethical criminals like Dr. Fareed Fatah up there in Detroit. He's, uh, he's in federal prison now. He diagnosed everybody with cancer and put them all on chemotherapy and just billed Medicaid for all this money while he was poisoning black people to death. He became a millionaire using the cancer industry. And he poisoned a lot of people's bodies and minds and, and destroyed a lot of lives. And that's what the cancer industry does. They destroy lives for profit. And they don't want you to know the truth, that your food is the cure. Let thy food be thy medicine. Your food is the cure. You just eat the cure every day. You don't have to put on a pink ribbon, run around in circles. You don't have to give money to Susan G. Komen. What a total con. All you need to do is eat the foods that are anti-cancer. Eat them every day. Avoid the foods that cause cancer, the sodium nitrite in processed meat products. You know, the hot dogs, the sausage, the, the uh, what, bacon, you know. If it's got sodium nitrite in it, it causes cancer. Stop eating cancer. Start eating anti-cancer nutrients and you're not going to be a cancer patient. It's really very simple. So it's great news. It's great news. Uh, the science is coming out. They can't censor it for much longer. Even the universities are starting to look at this. They're starting to look at how we can reduce healthcare costs and reduce human suffering and extend longevity and lifespan and healthy living just by eating foods that you thought were just basic, simple foods, turns out they have powerful anti-cancer nutrients that really, really work to, to destroy cancer cells. It's, it's so simple. The answer is so simple. You know, society has gone insane with uh, glyphosate poisoning and GMOs and pharmaceuticals and cancer treatments and all these chemicals. All they do is kill people and poison people and bankrupt nations. You don't need any of that stuff. What you need is organic agriculture. You need natural, healthy foods without the pesticides, and you can prevent cancer just by eating, by eating delicious fruit. <laughs> you can, it's that simple. Mother Nature's already provided the answers. You know, you're not gonna find answers from the medical establishment. They're not gonna put themselves out of business by solving disease problems and letting the population be healthy. They want you to be sick. They want you to be a repeat customer. 
they want you to be ignorant of all of these powerful natural foods that prevent cancer, that kill cancer cells without harming a single healthy cell in your body.